All right, so what you're seeing on the screen is essentially NATN, a platform where you can build agentic workflow. So if you go to NATN.io, you will be able to find this documentation where you can essentially enable a workflow to do any sorts of things. So onboard new joiners and provision accounts, security ops wise, you can enrich security incidents and tickets. You, from the DevOps standpoint, you can analyze GitHub PRs for vulnerabilities with AI and enrich new HubSpot company by analyzing their website with AI. And you can essentially connect all of these tasks with large language models and your Google Calendar for example in order to make the whole flow automated and you might have seen a lot of videos going around for templates of NATN in which case you can uh, take a look at the available set of templates on NATN but what I've done is that I've gone to their GitHub repo and apparently it's open source which means you can self-host it and not share data outside your own ecosystem so in order to do this there are two simple commands but before I go there let me show you how the basic NATN workflow looks like i'm here i went ahead and i created a new credential by going into credentials clicking here and creating a new credential i created it for my openai account so all you need to do is add your openai account key the next thing that you do is when you go to the home page you can create a new workflow credential or a project so right now even though this is open source and you can see it's running on my own server it still requires enterprise for certain features so either way i'm gonna click ahead and go ahead and click on workflow and in here you get a couple of options so let's go back to home and then click on create workflow i don't see templates so yeah for templates you need to click on the left side here uh, and you can see there are a bunch of these available templates for you to work with so creating an api endpoint pulling data from services that nitin does not have pre-built integration joining different data sets working with dates and times preparing data to be sent to a service and ai agent chat so when you click on use workflow uh, it will give you a couple of options so import template to nitin production so i'm gonna go ahead and click here which will essentially open this url because it knows that i've self-hosted it and then this will require me to set up serp api for uh, the searches so i'm gonna use my serp API key you need to go to server dev and you need to log in here going to quickly get the key for my project so I've just gone ahead and added the key in my serper API account it looks like it cannot connect so I'm assuming the key is incorrect so let me just quickly refresh the key and get a new one all right so in order to use Google search you will need to go to serp API and I've signed up on their free account so as you can see I have 100 free searches this month so go ahead and do that in case you're using a template that requires you to use serp API and I'm going to close this. So now I have both the credentials that I need. So OpenAI chat model and serve API. Go ahead and click on continue. Now from this point, when chat messages received, the agent will automatically, you know, open the chat model, use the buffer memory in order to store temporary data, use the SERP API in order to get Google results. And then you can add more steps here. So for example, you can add an action, meaning if you want to send the data somewhere, you can transform the data. You can add things like, you know, loop or if or merge and so on. You can do advanced AI things for, let's say, have connect open AI or do sentiment analysis, text classification, and so on and you can add another trigger for doing something else so for this case i'm just going to keep this simple as it is right now and i'm going to open chat and i'm going to say top ai news from today and you can see this is executing one step of step after the other and essentially working with each other in order to execute this right so open ai chat model is run twice then serp api is run twice and if you go to serp api and refresh this you can see we already used two of these searches uh, and when you open this chat you can see here are some top ai news from today a new executive order has been issued on artificial intelligence trump administration unveils a new ai policy reverses biden's security framework and so on so again some of this is pretty old but this is what it does right so it essentially allows you to build any sort of workflow as you would want on this ui so yeah so you scroll up here and you can see this is the workflow and from this point you are independently able to do more things now at this point if you came to this video to understand what nitin is i think at this point it's very clear with respect to what it is now what we want to do is understand how you can either use it on their ui which is more convenient for most people where you can actually go to nitin.io and sign in and sign up for a new account or you can go back to nitin and go to this github repo and simply run it locally so in order to make this work what you need is docker docker is a place where you can containerize and run applications so what you need to do after you install docker in your computer you should you should see something like this on the top here what you need to do is open terminal 
and run this first command here create volume any 10 so you can do it uh, anywhere you want right so i'm gonna go to my code folder so cd code and then i'm gonna paste this command so you can see this folder is now created the next command you want to run is this and when you put this at this point it looks like my last session crashed so i need to open docker and i think i need to close this all right so it automatically fixed itself but you can see what happens is that it will essentially run the na10 locally on your computer right so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open this and you can see na10 is now running on my computer i'm already logged in so it's using the credentials here where if you're not logged in it will tell you to log in and you will have to create credentials in order to make this work credentials is basically your username and password and from that point when you want to use things like OpenAI or Serper API and so on you can go ahead and add your credentials here by clicking add credential and then looking for let's say something called OpenAI open router or whichever API you'd want to integrate this to you can actually also go to workflows and start a ready example from scratch which essentially is simple receives a message from your customer and let's say a message could be set up a meeting automatically set up a meeting at 10 a.m. and then OpenAI model works with Google Calendar in order to schedule a meeting based on conflicts now right now i don't have my own workflows connected so the credentials are not in this ui but the exact same thing you can also do it on your own meaning you can self deploy this because this is a set of two commands and this is a little bit more technical so if you know railway if you know aws you can actually run na10 command on your instance and deploy this to let's say your own private server right so i've done this and you can see na10 production railway app and i've deployed it on railway and you can see i am able to use it here so this is not on any 10 this is on my own private server right now i don't know how the db is handled so i still need to look up code but this is running on my own server right so let's set up a simple workflow from scratch and see how the flow looks like right now you can see i have my own ai agent chat which we just you know initially created and i showed it to you but what i can do is create a new simple workflow and then if you look at the reference workflow here you can see when chat messages received i think is the trigger so okay this i don't want i, want, I don't want to trigger manually but on chat message received so you can also make this chat publicly available you can see this is the url but uh, right now i'm going to keep this super simple and when chat message is received then if you look at the sample workflow that we saw we've added an agent here i'm going to go back to my workflow and i'm going to look up agent so ai agent is what i'm going to add this could be a tools agent that utilizes tools this could be a conversational agent open ai functions agent plans plan and execute agent react agent and sql agent so i'm going to keep this to have be tools agent for now connected chat trigger node so this is triggered after the chat is triggered and so this is how the agent essentially looks like now the agent requires you to have three things the first thing is the chat model so i'm going to use the open ai chat model i'm going to use gpt 4 mini uh, and then you need memory so you can use the buffer memory because this is the simplest way for us to do so you can add vector dbs and make it more complex later on and then for tool so here what we essentially do is we use google calendar and we look at the workflow that we used we use serp, serp api so i'm going to do that so i'm going to do serp api for google search all right so i have access to tools now and then there is the final output let's say i want to send this to discord is this allowed yes so this code is allowed and post a message all right send a message uh, we will need to create a discord bot i you know i'm kind of curious if we could just use webhook url because that will be way easier to do it looks like oh yeah you can do it via webhook and then create a simple webhook url for discord so i'm going to open my discord and show you how that is done in the discord as well as in the app so i want to create an automated daily running na10 bot in order to post daily ai news in this channel right so daily ai news so i'm going to go ahead and create a new channel let's go ahead and create this channel and go to settings integrations and then create a webhook this is the new webhook created let's copy the webhook url and paste this here so now my webhook is created it will essentially take the output and post it on discord this is what the flow is now let's save this and go ahead and test this out i'm gonna add the message top ai news from 13th feb 2025 it basically says no session id found it's kind of hard to navigate for some reason and i'm gonna go back to buffer memory all right it basically shows that there's no session created which is strange all right so the message is received from this chat goes to the agent agent waits for json dot chat input which comes from the previous chat and this is where it's failing connected chat trigger node 
look for an input field called session id that is coming from connected chat trigger so json dot session id is undefined i think it's just the matter of retrying it once again so i'm gonna do the exact same thing and try again and see if there's an error uh, now it appears to be working so apparently it seems like this was just the matter of refreshing the data once you can see it's working with ai agent serp api open ai api and then it failed when it comes to sending the message all right so this is what we need to send so i'm gonna add this output here and i'm gonna test this step i'm gonna go back to discord and there you go we are now getting the message directly in discord using the init and workflows and it's essentially taking all the data from the last day in order to get the data here so pretty cool and i think if we run this workflow once again i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna say top ai news from feb 12 2025 so this should do the exact same thing work with serp api ai agent and then send the message to discord this time it should not fail because everything is well connected i love how smooth it is to do all of this it does require some heavy lifting at the start but post that it seems to be working so it, obviously it failed again because i i think i did not save this all right so let's go ahead and test this so the error is i'm not 100 sure what the error is let's drag this again here so we are getting the output correctly if we test this it fails let me save and refresh it once because the last time around when i tried doing this it worked let's test this step by running the whole thing again ai news from 12th feb 2025 obviously if you don't want to put in effort to do all of this manually feel free to you know use the ui because local you might face issues like these but you won't face that when you're running it on the ui uh, it's working now initially sometimes it fails to take the session id i don't know why but uh, it looks like it's working fine when it comes to generation and it also went through on discord so awesome now the whole flow is working as expected uh, these are the top news from 12th feb 2025 and i think this is a great tool for me to experiment and build more agentic workflows and i'm going to do that more and more if you would if you guys would like to see more videos on this please let me know uh, because i'm pretty impressed by the capability that it offers even at this point of time and if you go back to the overview and you look at the credentials and you try to add a new credential look at the amount of integrations that it offers crazy for someone to build like this it would take months and months but apparently we were able to do it you know very very quickly here it's more like zapier but with ai agents right which makes this insanely powerful plus it all already has like 1200 templates that you can directly plug in and use and i think some of these are free some of these are paid and some of these templates if you look at here are two years old so the platform has been existing for some time but it looks like it's already only gotten like mainstream now and i'd be happy to experiment in scenarios where you would want me to do so so please let me know what you guys think of this and if you guys have any questions uh, with respect to the platform self-hosting and so on and so forth please let me know thank you so much and have a great rest of the day